Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm just going to be talking to you guys about the new Mac App Store. So it was just released today with an update, and you can actually get it simply by clicking the Apple up at the top right here, and then going to Software Update. And then just let it finish and let it check for all the software you need to install, and it should come up saying that you need 10.6.6. .6. And I'm also going to click on the Apple and go to About This Mac and show you that I am on version 10.6.6 .6 right here. So once you do that, you will get a new icon down here, and it's just the App Store. You can also launch it by hitting the Apple again and going to App Store, and then it brings up the Mac App Store. Now this is really fast, really responsive, really quick. Uh, you can make it full screen if you want. You can. It's just basically like the same exact iOS app store so you can go to top charts there top paid top free top grossing same exact thing except all of these apps are for the Mac so what I have installed right now is caffeine I have this uh, virus barrier Express minesweeper Twitter and I'm just going to launch up minesweeper and show you guys that I have minesweeper and I can just simply play minesweeper like so so uh, this app store is actually really amazing it's super fast you can go and install something for instance I'm going to install Evernote and I'm just going to enter my password really quick and now as you can see it launches it over here and it puts it down here and I get a little download bar and I can do other things too while it's downloading so it's not like the App Store on iOS devices where that's basically all you can do is just sit at your home screen and wait for it to download so this is really amazing and Apple's really working hard to try and bridge the gap between their very 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 successful iOS line and their somewhat dying out Mac OS X line and I think that they're going to just integrate all of these features together and some of you might remember that a while back Apple and Steve Jobs were actually talking about a FaceTime client for desktop PCs and laptops well I think this is the first step in introducing that FaceTime and this is the first thing that they're going to do to bridge the gap and eventually you will probably be able to download it just like like how you download iBooks on your iDevice. You'll just end up opening it up and it'll say you need a new update and uh, FaceTime will appear or it would probably just be through an update similar to how you actually get this Mac App Store. So now I'm just gonna go to an app and show you what it looks like. Uh, it's very clean, it loads extremely fast. You get the ratings right here, the reviews right here, and you just get uh, the actual description for it right here. You can click more and it's basically just the same exact thing. And then if you hit this little arrow right here, you can tell a friend or you can copy the actual link. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just hit free, which ends up downloading it. And once you open up a new session with the App Store and you enter your password for the first time, you can download as many apps as you want without having to enter your password again until you actually exit the App Store and reopen it. So that is an awesome thing. And it just makes installing apps a lot easier. Over here you have categories and you don't have as many categories as on iDevices and some of them are a little different like for instance there are developer tools here uh, and you get different tools to develop different types of software and down here it just installs all of them right there and with OS X Lion you will be able to just put all of these apps inside of folders and you'll be able to organize them much much easier so that is going to be just amazing when Lion is released and as you can see it just works flawlessly it's really fast I'm just gonna exit out of here I'm not gonna save it and I'm gonna open up the Evernote app that I downloaded as well Evernote is my personal digital assistant always at the ready to record my thoughts and capture interesting stuff I see. So I didn't even know that was going to end up doing that, but that was actually really cool. It just took over my uh, speakers and it just started going into this introduction and it even circled what was off of the screen. So I didn't know you could even do that. 
Uh, that was actually really cool. So I'm going to have to look into that more after this video. That was a really nice thing. I was saying hopefully with OS X Lion, it will improve upon this app store and you will be able to organize these applications much easier than right now because it just adds them from the dock from what I can tell and just your normal applications folder, which I mean is all right, but I would prefer if you could put them in uh, cooler folders like on iOS devices or actually have like some sort of springboard like like I know they're going to introduce an OS X line, but it is a great start for now, and hopefully it will lead to a jailbreak really, really quickly. Sarik said that he developed a sort of substrate for Mac users, so hopefully that will be released super quick, and there will be a jailbreak tool, and we will be able to install all of our favorite jailbreak applications and more on our Macs. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hello, this is ICU, signing out.